In this video I will show you how to control the position of a printer's carriage thanks to the linear encoder. The linear encoder uses this band to generate pulses which are counted by electronic to detect the current position. Now we have to reach the encoder pins that are underneath to connect and use it. In this case I also want to use the flat cable which are being specially designed to withstand long movement cycles. I removed the board but I broke the encoder. HP printer usually have three of these encoders, one here and another in the scanner mechanism. I got the first one. This is my pinout, you can find it in the video description but be careful because your pinout could be different and not all sensors can be powered at 5 volts. I want to weld it in a prototype board. But you can simply weld the wires under the original board. Now we can connect the encoder to Arduino. The connection is simple, you can find the schematics and the sketch in description. If the wiring is correct, it will be possible to read the position of the encoder. Arduino uses one encoder channel to count impulses and another to determine direction. Now we need to add an H-bridge to drive the motor in both directions and we PIV signals. In the second sketch you have to adjust this ratio according to the sensitivity of your encoder. We will give the actuator set point through the serial connection. In the loop, we just drive the motor in the right direction to reach the set point. If I'm on the set point, I do nothing. This can be very useful in many projects. Finding all the inkjet printers is really easy. In some cases, this solution can be even better than stepper motors. If I force the actuator to the wrong position, it will return to the set point.